as the number of cars on the roads increases, the shift away from conventional fueled vehicles gains momentum. Over 26 million electric cars were on the road in 2022, according to the International Energy Agency, a 60% increase from 2021. And this year, the number is expected to be even higher. While battery-powered vehicles have emerged as a promising solution to reduce carbon emissions, their reliance on lithium raises mining concerns. To address this, cars are being designed to run on one of the most abundant elements on Earth, hydrogen. We spoke with the managing director of a globally recognized luxury car brand here in Dubai, who gave us an exclusive look at some exciting models. We are standing now here in the BMW Training Center, where we train all of our customer-facing staff in technical and non-technical trainings. What I'm particularly interested in is this beauty over here. This is the iX5 Hydrogen. Yes, it is. But the most interesting part is what is under the hood, which is a hydrogen-powered vehicle. So the way you charge it is basically you fuel it. You fuel it with hydrogen, and it takes uh, two to three minutes to fuel the car. The beauty is that only water comes out of the tailpipe. It's zero emission. Zero. Zero. Well, there's only one thing left to do. Which is? You have to take me for a drive. 100%. We have a car waiting outside. <laughs> Let's do this. Currently, the number of hydrogen-powered cars on the road is 72,000. Industry experts predict that by 2050, the global fleet of hydrogen cars could skyrocket to 400 million. However, the high cost of production may be a barrier. So right now, the, the costs are high. This is a test pilot or a vehicle that we have. But with mass adoption, obviously the economies of scale will go How down. How quickly do you think that could happen? What's the timeline? before we see mass adoption? What we showcase here is the capabilities of hydrogen being deployed on yeah. a vehicle that you and I can drive. What we see is with the deployment of um, infrastructure, we foresee that by the end of uh, this decade, we would be ready to have hydrogen vehicles in, um, in serious production. So let's talk about it realistically and practically. Do you see a point where we will not require fossil fuels to power our vehicles? And how long would that take? Do you think hydrogen would be it? If you look into the sector itself, you have trucks, you have ships, you have planes. And if you want to be on the road towards carbon neutrality, you need to also find a way to make them green. And usually hydrogen is the mean towards that.